Welcome to Follow Your Joy podcast, where intuition is the doorway to your elevated creativity, more joy, and prosperity. I'm your host, Marla Diane, and I've been living an intuitive life for decades as a creative. That translates to transforming creative entrepreneurs' lives for over 27 years through two businesses as a business strategist and a life designer. And prior to that, an entertainment publicist and talent manager. Follow Your Joy is an entrepreneurial resource for creatives sharing their challenge to victory stories through the lens of listening to their intuition. It's time to make joy your inner GPS for life and business decisions rather than lean on your logic and reason first. You'll not only be following what is most authentic for you, but you will live the beautiful life meant just for you. Want to learn how to access, trust, or up-level your intuition? Join me in the conversation to find out how. All right. Hello, creatives. I'm grateful to be here with you. So... September 18th, I flew to Italy for the fourth time since my life and business makeover in 2017. If you're new to my podcast, which I hope you are and welcome, I hit a a big burnout in my business in 2017 that had me hiring a new mentor, Gina Devi, who ended up being my mentor for almost seven years. But I hired her for an intensive four hour in-person session in her home to recover my dreams and learn how to make money with joy rather than the constant overwhelm, the hustle, the push the boulder up the hill mode, and the abundant amount of stress. The result of that session was the recovery of my 20-year unrealized Italian dream to work and live in the United States and Italy as a laptop lifestyle entrepreneur by creating a month-long stay in beautiful Florence, Italy in the summer of 2017. I discovered through that mentoring and the life makeover from living in Florence that I was destined to learn how to live and work from the blend of the masculine and feminine energies to balance my work mode so that I could enjoy my coaching while operating my business on my terms. Rather than follow a set of over-the-top rules and structures that sent me reeling. So 45 days after that life-changing session, I flew to Rome, Italy. And that was my first time. And I spent a month long stay, as I mentioned, in that gorgeous city of Florence. And it changed my entire life and how I operated, how I made decisions about my well being. I set firmer boundaries and reconnected with my creativity in my heart. It was pretty numb. So, fast forward to today, I have visited Italy now four times transforming my life and business each time (laughs) where I've been elevated because of that commitment to that desire, keeping it alive and evolving it. So how was it elevated? Oh boy, the most impact is knowing, believing, and experiencing there actually is a quality way to live my life providing that I integrate what I learned in how the Italians live their lives, which is through the lens of beauty, family, heritage, culture, art, healthy food, yeah, 
wine, cooking, connection, gathering, as in in the piazza every day, travel, and relaxation. Each time I visit Italy, I integrate more and more of that lifestyle mindset into my own life here. And the results so far, I only do what brings me joy in my business and no longer do things just because everyone else is or it's the trend. Never the one to follow a crowd anyway. I also tolerate less and less anything or anyone that does not align with my well-being. My intuition becomes more alert and on point where I am more loyal to it. And that comes from each time I visit. I also have deeper boundaries with what I will and won't allow in my life. I'm more selective with who and what I spend my time on. My self-worth and love of life increases and my body, this is wow, happens every time. My body heals every time I'm in that culture. So September 18th through the 30th was a nine-day culinary adventure designed and delivered by myself and my co-host, Rico Mandel, a long, long time friend of mine where we had a phenomenal experience with our guests staying in two different farmhouse villas, one for five days in San Cacio de Beñe in the Siena region of Tuscany and one in Foligno, Umbria for three days. Truly every part of the villa experiences, the food, the cooking, the hospitality, the obviously beautiful Tuscan and Umbrian countryside to wine tasting, roaming the hilltop towns, dining in their restaurants, shopping in their shops, the architecture, right? To re the relaxing time that we had, watching those blue skies kind of paint the backdrop for us to admire that green, lush rolling hills of Tuscany. They're sitting on the back porch in the back part of that uh, villa. Incredible. It was almost surreal. So in my mentoring, I have a signature proven strategy. And it was born from that 2017 burnout. <laughs> and it helps clients and myself re-engineer how they achieve. It's a formula called Creative Achievement Formula. And it's desires plus goals equals transformation and results. So essentially, I have you focus on your top desire and, and center for 90 days, two top goals, and acting on those goals that essentially support that desire by taking inspired action. Right? versus only focusing on goals. So have you noticed everywhere you go, for the most part, when it comes to you know your life, your career, your business, everything is about goals, goals, goals. But there's nothing about desires. In other words, Anytime you, you know, read a book, you do coaching, you do whatever it is to help move your life and business forward, it's always focused on goals. So here's the difference is between the masculine principle, which is the goals only, versus the blend of the feminine principles which includes desires and intuition and play and adventure, receiving, creativity, expansion, spirituality, connection, collaboration, and with masculine goals. So there's no gender in here, it's just principles and energy. So when you think about it, desires, which is the feminine, leading the way, and this is especially true for women entrepreneurs, 
plus the goals, which is the masculine, it equals your transformation because you achieved the desire meant for you and results because you focused on a few very top important goals. Now you got the blend of the masculine and feminine rather than just the masculine. And that's what lends itself to burnout. And that's exactly what happened, <clears throat> excuse me, back in 2017. So I learned obviously a huge life lesson and obviously got to pass that on to all my clients. So the core purpose of the creative achievement formula is experiencing the joy of achieving what you desire without the burnout. Hallelujah, right? So I'm gonna let one of my videos that I filmed while on a very quiet, serene walk along this tree-lined driveway of Villa Vetrachina in Tuscany speak to this topic of desires and how I want the same for you. So enjoy this video and I'll be back shortly. Buongiorno. I want you to see if you can listen to the rustling of the wind. Oh my God, it's so, it's so amazing here. So I'm doing my morning walk uh, on the long driveway that goes up to the villa. But here's what it looks like. Oh my God. Stunning, right? Because we're up in the hills of uh, San Casciano de Bagne, which is in the Siena region, which is southern Tuscany. And we're on our fifth day here, which is the last day uh, of this extraordinary nine-day adventure. I mean, I've had a lot of firsts, even though I've been here to Italy. This will be now my fourth time, but this, I have not had this experience yet, and it's been outstanding. All the beautiful little towns that we visited. Oh my gosh, and the wine winery tour in Montalcino. Um, the walking around San Casciano de Beigne in that beautiful little medieval, you know, old town, uh, hilltop town. And the drive from here to Montalcino, it's about 45 minutes. Oh my gosh, God's country. <laughs> the drive through the Tuscan countryside is absolutely stunning i mean you just you can't take a bad picture here <laughs> it's uh, i'm humbled right so there's not a day that has gone by where i haven't wanted this for you there's not a day that has gone by in this extraordinary trip that i haven't wanted to see you experience this or whatever that dream that desire for you that you have yet to take the leap on because of old <clears throat> mindset whatever is holding you back it's time for a new identity it's time for right up leveling it's time for reinvention <clears throat> whatever that is for you but I aspire for you to feel what I'm feeling right now, which is kind of a rebirth, a humbling, um, obviously a stepping away from everyday crazy routine, right? And schedule and on some level hustle, although I don't believe in the hustle, I believe in the feminine uh, approach of life and business, which is 
um, receiving, trusting, having faith, using your intuition rather than right, your logic every moment of the day. Right, where I lead with intuition and then lean on logic to carry it out. So anyway, whatever it is that you have been desiring that has been there for a while and you have either used time, money, or whatever to talk you into not doing it yet. Don't do that. <laughs> it's it's a consciousness for sure. It's a consciousness. And uh, that beautiful experience, that desire, it's meant to transform you. It's not just a nice thing to do. It literally is planted within you. And I'm talking a, a major, big, important desire, whether it's you know, starting your own business, you know, traveling the world, traveling to Tuscany, uh, finally, right? Maybe that's been on your bucket list or any other place in the world, buying a home, having a family. We're talking, these are major desires that for whatever reason you've put off. And I'm inviting you to not do that anymore. Because on the other side of that fear, concern, worry, you know, judgment, whatever you want to call it, on the other side of that is this, right? Whatever this is for you. This, by the way, this trip, this nine-day culinary trip that I'm co-hosting with my friend Rico was not an easy feat. There were a couple times I was ready to give up. This was not simple. I spent 10 months marketing this, right? We were able to, you know, attract a couple wonderful women who are having the time of their life. But this was not an easy feat, but the belief carried me through. The knowing how amazing this was going to be, having been here before, as in, you know, Tuscany region, is the dream, the desire was stronger than the frustration, the fear, the worry, the concern, all of those things that did come up for me. Honestly, this was not an easy trip to put together, market, all of that. But I held on and I had my partner, co-host, you know, to go through this with. And we held each other, right, to the dream. To making it happen. All right. So all that to then say. Okay. Is... So how was that for you? You know, the quiet right in the beginning that I pointed out as I'm walking and I'm having you listen to the quiet. Let me tell you, being there on that road with all this gorgeous scenery around me, it was so healing. Right. Oh. It's amazing. It's got to be a vortex there in Italy telling you. All right. So by September 29th, again, we I left September 18th, landed in Rome on September 19th, spent a couple days in Rome, and then off I went to join the group. So by September 29th, I was ready to come home, rejuvenated, refreshed. And so here is another video which is the result of the 12 days of travel. And I recorded this in my home and I title it Home Sweet Home with Italy in my heart. So take a listen. All right, well, now that I'm home from 10 amazing, outstanding, spectacular, phenomenal days, in Tuscany and Umbria, Italy. I thought I would uh, come on here and give you the afterglow and the after the trip stories. Um, one is I'm glad to be home. For me, Italy is that place where I get to heal. 
Um, I get to honor what I love, which is that country, the people, the culture. But when I talk about healing, it happens every time I go, maybe you too if you've gone. There's probably a vortex there, but between the beautiful countryside, the people, um, just everything about it, the fresh food, the mindset, the quality of life, it heals. So for example, it took about five days for all the angst and the stress and me being wound up from the life out here <laughs> to actually calm down, release, and it's like I felt my heart again. In other words, it's like I felt love. I felt like alive or more alive. Um, it only does that to me is it really heals and it heals my body heals my you know soul heals my spirit I mean even various parts of my body felt much more um, if you will alive I had a crick in my back <laughs> before I left wouldn't go away for a couple weeks within about five days it was gone so I love going to Italy. It's fabulous. Am I interested in living there? No. I want to keep the magic. I want to keep the magic alive. I want to have a place that I can go to to enjoy, heal. Right? Um, and I, I don't want to say the word escape because I'm not escaping my life. Uh, really more about just experiencing that beautiful culture and the joy that it brings me, right? So, you know, I've been privy to what it's like to live and in, in work in Italy, as I have some clients there, and some associates and friends, and yeah, it's never been my dream to actually live there. You know, absolutely visit two to three months out of the year and come back, but I've always had the dream, which is what I'm doing, is visiting there you know, for certain lengths of time. And coming back to, you know, my home in Southern California and my life here. So I love both, right? So it refreshes my spirit, right? Changes my perspective, puts me back into center, and then I'm ready to go again. So that's why I'm saying I'm really glad to be home. Uh, but it's, if I always feel different when I get back in a very good way and each time it gets kind of deeper and deeper does that make sense yeah. so the whole trip aside from the phenomenal photos that, and videos that you've been seeing um, it was really that great right? there was really nothing that doesn't show up in the photos and the videos that wasn't truly like that we all got along great, uh, all four of us, and every single adventure, quiet moment, relaxing moment in the villa, outside, in the countryside, at a winery, in a hilltop town, and you know, Matocino, wherever we were, eating that amazing food that Chef Francesco made for us in the villa. I mean, everything we did was wonderful really it was magical so again we spent five days in villa ventrachina which is owned by patrizia uh and her chef um she has a chef on staff uh, chef francesco and her assistant aurora who was just of a good at a host and um cook baker you know, she took care of a lot a lot of um stuff for us guests Right, serving us breakfast every morning. So yeah, we spent five days there, which was in uh, the southern part of Tuscany, San Cassiano de Bene, which is in uh, the Siena region. And then we were three days only in Umbria, in Foligno. In Foligno, uh, there was a wonderful villa that we stayed in, um, Villa La Maesta. And although it was different than the Villa Ventrachina, 
Um, it was just equally beautiful. Old farmhouse, if I remember correctly, from the 1500s that uh, the owner who has lived next door to the villa and owned it, if I'm correct, 45 years. We had a nice talk about his history and so forth. Just amazing, the culture there, again, the history and the commitment to their, to their quality of life. I love it. So anyway, we were there for three days and uh, you know, did various uh, adventures while we were there, you know, winery um, visits, tastings, hilltop towns, Montefalco, restaurants, etc. So, glad again to be home and finishing out the year. And I wish you to go after your desire. Go after your top long-held desire. You know, the one that you've been putting off for all sorts of reasons. And I am inviting Okay, well, there you are. <laughs> How'd all that land with you? Did you relate with any of it? I certainly hope so. And I hope it landed right in your heart and soul. So similar to what I did seven years ago, I invite you to recover your dreams and long-held desires by either choosing laser coaching option and I'll drop a link down below in the show notes right or have a call with me right to discuss my signature 90 day create cohort which begins at the uh, beginning of the year right it's designed to start the new year off by placing what your top desire and two top goals at the forefront of all your focus so that you are literally using my creative achievement formula to carry you through the first three months of the year and create momentum. I also mentor you on deepening your intuition, make peace with your money story, define your zone of genius and how that becomes your GPS, right? For your higher revenues as you operate in your happy place, and your highest creativity doing what you love. There's so much more to this. So there you have it. Would love to support you in your dreams, your desires, right? And having that blend of the masculine feminine and literally getting rid of this burnout that is an epidemic in this country, yeah? All right, so thanks for taking this Italian journey with me. And until next episode, be well and be blessed. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for listening. You can find more entrepreneurial stories and resources at MarlaDiane.com. And while you're there, enjoy my free downloads to up-level your business and your life. And Instagram, it's my favorite place to hang out. Let's connect there. If you received inspiration from the episode, I'd sure appreciate a five-star review on Apple and Spotify. Until next episode, take care.